not necessarily Facebook uh, or its design, um, but I will be specific in saying um, the culture of Facebook is just shady, downright shady. People steal your content. They won't even give you a thumbs up or what is that, likes and the other little uh, emotions they have on Facebook. They won't even do that to let you know, okay, this is some good shit. Uh, I did that and please believe I'm going to go and use that because we, people do that all the time. They hear something fly, they hear something good and jazzy and, you know, something that they like. And um, to me, that's a compliment. But what's not a compliment is when you take it in and um, pretend you are the originator of the content when you're not. That's stealing. Okay, it's stealing. Whether you're doing it online or not, it's still stealing. And so whenever I'm on Facebook, I usually say, for example, I download a picture or meme or something from somebody else's post. I have the decency to go on that post and um, like the post to let the person know I did see it. And sometimes I will comment and let them know them. And I'll say, I'm still in this one. Oh, I really like this one. Uh, I just make sure that I contribute to that person um, because I think it's unfair to take it and then, you know, just run with it and, and not even give credit to where you got it from. <laughs> uh, at some point, either to the person or either wherever you're taking it to, okay, I got this from such and such. Um, that points back to the originator of the content that you uh, borrowed, it borrowed it, you did borrow it, okay. We all, we, maybe we shouldn't use a strong word like stealing. Um, but uh, whatever you borrowing, you need to give people credit for. Back to Google, because this, this broadcast is about Google. But I wanted to discuss the contrast between the two. What I love about Googleites, I call us Googleites. Uh, what I love about Googleites is that we will comment on your shit. Now, don't get it twisted. It ain't going to always be the kind of comment you want. But please believe you will get some feedback from us Googleites. Even the people that what they call trolls, um, where they will get an account of, uh, with uh, some just random picture that's not a picture of them. And then they uh, will create an account with some crazy name and uh that's not actually a name and um go prowling around the internet uh spewing out shit uh that they uh dare not do uh with their real identity all right now that's one of the things as a google lover that i despise about google that they do allow people to do that because that is just not fair. Um, you don't see people in real life going around with a mask on, with the exception of the uh, anonymous folks, because they don't walk around with a mask on either. They had a certain time when they want to disguise themselves. But anytime you see somebody in real life running around with a disguise on, and it ain't October and uh, it ain't um, Halloween time or, or they ain't on their way to no festivities that required it, them to uh, wear a mask, then you are going to be very skeptical about that person because uh, nine times out of ten, uh, they mind ain't right and their intentions certainly are not beneficial to anyone, okay. So, uh, I mean, a prime example, the Ku Klux Klan, all right. So the trolls on the internet and people who get accounts specifically to um, verbally uh, uh, abuse people 
and abuse the um, privilege that they are given of being able to uh, use a, an alias. They are abusing that privilege and that's not Google's fault, but I do think that Google need to take some more precautions on, um, and, and have some more, uh, what do you call that, parameters or guidelines or limitations on um, how many accounts you can have. So we can narrow this bullshit down. We need to be able to narrow this bullshit down, all right? I understand in the beginning, Google, y'all were just trying to get your numbers up, but y'all ought to have y'all numbers about right right now, enough to uh, not really need all these fake ass accounts. All right. Now, Google, I I directly have a problem with this new uh, Go Live system that y'all have. Is I call it Go Trash. All right. So I love y'all, but my love for y'all is forcing me to keep it real with you. All right. This new Go Live system is ultimate trash. All right. Trash, it's just trash, Larry. Don't, don't let them do it. Whoever I did it was, I want you to know, baby, I, I'm sure you had good intentions, but good intentions don't always lead up to um, actions that uh, yield, uh, you know, good results. And this is one of them. We all make mistakes in business, but please correct this expeditiously. You got your Google Hangout events where you can you still have it where we can set up events, yet the events say that the, um, the uh, it says that it's gonna be live, okay? But with the old system, when it said we was gonna be live, we was motherfucking live! We was live. It wasn't a hidden broadcast anywhere. Whatever you saw was what the hell you was gonna get. All right. Um, and and we liked it that. Okay. And I don't know what it is about Google that y'all not understanding what things that your um people who patronize your services. I don't understand why y'all don't understand or know the difference of when you do make changes or when you do, um, um, how should I say, uh, alter things, that you should have a system in place where we can let you know right away this shit is not going to work or, oh, I'm loving this, uh, new system they have and um that will help out with uh eliminating some of these problems of changing a system that's working you just don't do that in business you do not change something that's working all right and that's beneficial to your customers all right with the um Another thing y'all changed long time ago, and I think I made broadcast about it, but I didn't make a specific broadcast. But when y'all changed it well, when a person make a comment on the video, the YouTube video, it automatically posted that video to that person uh, Google Plus account. Y'all Googlers, y'all remember when we used to do that? You make a comment on somebody's account or, or well, on that video, and when you made that comment, you didn't even have to share it because it would automatically share to your page. That was a couple of clicks you didn't have to worry about. I mean, now it's like, okay, I want to make a comment. I want to I, I wanna share it, but if you want to go on to the next thing, then... It's slowing up the process, all right? It's slowing up the process of our viewership and our consumption level, which is something I don't think you all should want. Uh, 
And I love Google. I am a YouTuber. I go to YouTube for everything. But I get um, annoyed when I go to Google and I have a question I want to ask or a problem I need to solve. So quite naturally, I'm going to go to Google to, it has become natural, <laughs> uh, to go to Google because Google got the answers. I love y'all for that. Um, but when I go to Google, I expect answers. Now, see, y'all got to realize with the same uh, reputation that you have um, for having the answers, you will also, there comes a, an ex expectation, an, a high expectation level, all right? So with that high expectation level um, already being in place now, then I think it is Google's responsibility to maintain that and do what it takes to maintain that. I don't know what your company goals are, but I know if I owned a company that was similar to yours, what I would um, be expecting um, from that type of company or what angle I would be uh, um, addressing my uh, patrons at would be to provide them with the answers that they need because I don't know what your original intentions was, but this is where you at, baby. This is where y'all didn't end up. Y'all didn't end up, y'all almost like God. Um, people uh, go to Google for answers. You know, um, when people are having conversations in their homes and things like that, and they are discussing different topics and so forth, um, and perhaps there is a disagreement about um, who's right in the discussion. Years ago, we used to go to the smartest person we knew or uh, to an uh, elderly person and see if they knew the answers to whatever it was that we were arguing about or we go in books and dictionaries and stuff like that. But Google, y'all have all that now. We have access to uh, people with knowledge and wisdom all across the world, you know, and so we appreciate that. But, um, and we, yes, we really do appreciate that. I won't stop right there and pause right there, emphasize on that. We appreciate that because you have not only provided this source of, source of information, whether it be accurate or not, that's another whole other issue, but I don't even think you're responsible for that. Um, whether, whether the information is accurate or not, I appreciate the fact that I can get answers at the tip of my fingers, you know? Um, I appreciate that um, when I'm bored and, and, and either wanna watch something interesting or intriguing that I, at the click of a button, I can just uh, go to YouTube and uh, type in what I wanna see and see it, you know? Um, that's better than Netflix in that capacity um i love netflix too i know that this broadcast didn't have nothing to do with netflix but i kind of i don't compare google to netflix but um i love netflix i wish netflix had it where we could top in which movie we wanted so they can stop suggesting all this uh bullshit that they be suggesting that don't have nothing to do with what i've been watching all right, the recommendations they have for me. Y'all, Google, y'all do that too. I just ignore y'all recommendations because I know a computer, I don't care how good you can program that computer to pick up on certain things. It just ain't human. It just ain't human. So it's going to uh, 
um, go by the structure that you set for it because it is is it's not human. A uh, human will go outside those perimeters and do things based on its feelings or what it knows about a person personally. All right, but that computer is having to do a, a, a electronic guessing, y'all, <laughs> with those algorithms. All right, so I understand that. But what I do not like is when I type in how to whatever and then i get all kind of results for shit that don't have nothing i mean absolutely nothing to do absolutely nothing to do with what i talked about now that'll kick you off uh, another thing is uh, Google that uh, that annoys me to know in O M G. When you type in how to whatever, and you get a O nineteen twenty seven as video that is so freaking outdated. Um. That, that's a bit annoying because um, if you if, if you're providing information, I think it would be important to make sure that that information is up to date. So Google, I'm gonna give y'all a zillion dollar tip. Now, y'all have it first access to it, so um, I hope y'all listening in. But this is uh, just a suggestion for y'all when in y'all decision making and how I don't know on the back end how y'all have to, what y'all have to do, what type of programming or coding y'all have to do to accomplish this, but I'm sure y'all got people there smart enough to accomplish it. Um, you, it would be wise for all um, for Google to have a feature, function, section, app, whatever the hell you want to call it. All right, because I'm not really tech savvy, so um, just hear me out. But if y'all have a section, sort of like a playlist, where people provide up-to-date how-to videos. And on those videos, instead of people liking the video and just thumbs up and then it thumbs down it, you can give us the option of saying, okay, thumbs up, and then we can make a comment just like the regular videos, but we can thumbs up it and then we can make the comment that okay this this video um provided the information of what the title said it was going to provide all right we need an option for that because there's too many people who will put a how to and don't show you how to do nothing i got a problem with that i will Go on a person's video and cuss they ass out. That is, um, I don't know what they call that, clickbait or whatever like that, but they're playing games. And it just really inconsiderate of people's time and everything. It's just rude. It's just all I rude. And I don't know why people on social media feel that it's okay to 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 do things like that because in real life you ain't gonna do that in real life i've never found nobody tell me they're gonna tell me how to do something and then didn't tell me how to do it because they know they'll get cussed out if they did that and 
on Google, they can report us for <laughs> they can report us for talking shit. But <laughs> we need to be able to report their ass for 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 providing uh false falsifying <laughs> false advertisement. <laughs> And shucks, and that's what I'm saying. We need the right to, to report them. I'm not saying it's okay for us to go on people's videos and carry out. Just, you need, I'm just saying no need to be foul. You know, I believe in doing business that benefit all who are involved. All right. And... <laughs> I think it's a one-sided deal right now because nobody cares about the people, us YouTubers that watch videos and we just take y'all shit. We just taking y'all shit with whatever y'all dish out. We just taking it. Because I guess it's, people feel like it's y'all company or whatever and y'all do what y'all want to do and that's true. But um, I got a a pop up message one time on my the other day on my uh, channel, and on that little pop up uh, from it was a message from Google, and that message said, um, "If like if you don't mind, if, um, tell us what your experience was like. We go live." And I was honest. I said, this system is trash. They said, be honest. So I was honest. I was brutally honest. Because I want them to understand the urgency of fixing this issue. Uh, uh, I don't know if the best option is to go back to what the hell it was, if you can, or to correct this problem within this app. I think it's what they call it. But you got to download some other kind of video projection thing. I was a little leery about doing that. And I don't mind doing what I got to do to have access. It's free, you know, but it's a little scary because I have a Mac and I do have virus protection, but some people don't. And we won't patronize your business, but you got to help us out to do that. Um, another thing is when you create the event, the event in the Hangout, okay, when you go to your Google Plus page, and on the side, well, I'm speaking from the perspective of a full laptop or computer system because it has a different look to it you can't even do none of that on your phone all right but on on the laptop you it give you little options on the side um to manage your your circles and everything like that well, right over there in that section y'all know who what y'all how y'all got the shit set up all right but in a section where y'all got the events where you can set up the events and you click set up the event, it gives you two options. Now, one of them option is say, plan a hangout. And on the other option is say, uh, I think plan an event. Now, Perhaps the problem that I'm experiencing with this go live not connecting to the event page is because I, out of those two options, I might not be picking the right one to set up an event. But I still blame Google for that because it don't tell you which is which. It just say, um, plan a hangout. And then on the other one, it say, um, plan an event or set up an event or whatever. But it don't say, okay, if you select this one, it ain't going to be live. If you select this one, it is going to, you can, 
uh, view it through your live channel, all right? Um, your live uh, screening or whatever. Because the one that I selected, which was um, plan a hangout, when you set it up and on the area where you schedule the, the date and the time and so forth like that, it, it says this will be live. So, but when it come time for you to um, access, like we used to do with the old system, um, you could go in on your event page at any time. You could actually start your event even before the time you schedule it if you want to. Um, I like the that. It gave me time to prepare. And sometimes I'd be looking crazy in the camera. I'd be like, wait a minute, let me fix myself up right quick before I broadcast live. And I could do that in that system because... It, I, I had I had had a second step um, for you once you click it. It had the second step for you to start the broadcast, and but you can still see yourself, so you can see what you're looking like, what your lighting is like, and so forth, and correct that before you actually go live. If you're playing some copyrighted music in the background, give you time to prepare. Just gave you time to prepare. Now with this new system, um, I don't know. It doesn't even connect. When you click um, join the Hangout, or, or this Hangout is live, first of all, that little green button pop up too damn late. It pop up too damn late. And then when you click it, it don't go live. It don't give you the option like it did when I uh, went this option directly through YouTube. Um, you, you just don't be live. I had a whole broadcast that I don't have no record of now because I thought I was live, but I wasn't. And I'm just not, I'm, I'll probably eventually um, do a broadcast and um, provide that information but it's just really annoying to have done that and having to do it again. When we already spend so much time on these uh, internet and social media uh, platforms, uh, but I'm not the type of person, I don't like to waste my time now. Even when I be on social media, sometimes it's just for pleasure or to meet people or whatever like that, but I'm strictly bending, baby. I'm quickly bidding at Google. I love you, Larry, and y'all over there at Google, the Google team. I love y'all, all right? But Candace quickly bidding it just like y'all quickly bidding this, you know? So I didn't want to let y'all know that because I think y'all really do want to provide a good service. And, of course, y'all want to make money too, but uh, I think y'all understand that if, Y'all provide a good service that you get the money. It's the money coming regardless, all right? Um, I, I, as a Google lover, I'm just keeping it real. Well, I was hoping that some people, other people would chime in on the broadcast and put their two cents in about um, this topic of uh, being a Google lover but not being quite satisfied or for those that may be satisfied, I would like for you to give your perspective on some of the things that I've talked about. So since nobody joined in to the broadcast while we uh, were live, I'm asking that you all please subscribe, share, Please leave comments and let me know what you think. And also, um, anybody who wants to do another broadcast about this topic and um, put your two cents in on the on the on the discussion of it, I don't want to just be the only one talking about it because I'm definitely not the only Google lover. 
But in the meantime, in between time, keep it real or take your ass back to fantasy land.